Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is our Bella, which is about Gogamela 331 BC, one of Alexander's battles, and it's written by Richard Berg. Uh, he's no longer with us, but he's a very famous game designer. And this is from Turning Point Simulations, and it's chapter 3 of 21. Uh, these are uh, battles uh, in certain wars that were turning points. So let's take a look in here and see what this is all about. It's got a big deck of cards in it. This game you can either get the box version or the Ziploc bag version like I did. I chose to go with the Ziploc bag version to save money. I don't know, you save like, I forget if it's $8 or $10 by not having a box. And the best part is it'll take up less room. Uh, these Ziploc games take up far less room than big box games. All right, so here's the cover sheet. The artwork looks great. And there's not many counters. Not many at all. Looks like they're all just informational counters. They're pretty thick, uh, double-sided. I mean, for informational counters, they look fine. I mean, generally, informational counters don't have, like, stellar artwork because they don't need it. All right, let's take a look at the rules here. Rule book looks like it's in an all color. That's good. And it's 11, well, 12 pages. All right. Let's look, see what's in here. Starts out with an introduction, then goes over the components. And then it's talking about the playing field. The playing field looks pretty abstract. Looks like Persian reserves on the top, Macedonian reserves on the bottom, and then you got the flanks here and stuff. So it's an abstract game. Sometimes abstract games are great, sometimes they're bad, sometimes they're so-so. I'll try this and let you guys know how this one turns out to be. And there's the cards, and it's saying what the different symbols and stuff mean on, mean on the cards. So it looks like the cards are your actual playing pieces or your uni units as far as I can tell so far. And here's preparing for play, which I assume is just set up, and it's going over some concepts. Looks like facing is important in this game, and there's also diagonal movements you can do. Okay, here's a sequence of play. Start with a rally and deploy phase, then you have an order phase, then leader movement, and then section actions uh, phase. <coughs> See if it shows later on here what the different actions are. Alright, and then stacking doesn't say there what the limit is, but... Oh, okay. Advanced in battle rolls, one unit plus one leader plus one skirmish unit. Okay. All right, now it's going over unit movement. And here's your actions here. All right, so you can move, you can do missile fire, move and missile fire, move and shock combat, shock combat attack, move missile fire and shock combat, withdraw move... Change facing direction and rearranging deployment sections and stacking and move disrupted units to reserve. Interesting, it's going into unit movement and missile fire in greater detail. Same with shock combat. Talking about combined attacks here. And going over the rules for leaders and talking about the rally phase. And winning the game, you get a marginal victory if at the end of uh, your opponent's turn, a player occupies four of his opponent's advanced row sections with undisrupted units. Strategic victory if at the end of uh, your opponent's turn, a player occupies five of his opponent's advanced row sections with undisrupted units. And a blowout victory if at the end of an opponent's turn, a player occupies all of his opponent's advanced row sections with combat units one of which may be with a disrupted unit. Now let's talk about game balance. Given the almost two to one unit advantage the Persians have, representing only slightly the the actual numerical situation, you'd think the bet should be placed in the local Susa OTB parlor. However, the Macedonian men have major advances in both command, to say the least, and unit superiority. These two tilt the game towards Macedonians at least in the historical deployment, to about 60-40 in their favor. You can balance this somehow by allowing Darius to add one or two to, to his additional orders die rolls, depending on 
how you agree to play. So if you get tired of the Macedonians winning, you can balance it. That's kind of cool that they added that in there. And as you notice, there's no board here. You just uh, arrange the cards and I guess the battle order. That's kind of interesting. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, please click like on it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. If you ever tried this game, why don't you comment and let us know how it is. Or if you've tried any similar games uh, about this battle, please, uh, we'd love to hear about it. Have a good evening.